Hello, welcome at the Open University of Tanzania and welcome to uh, this series of how to add an assignment for students. And uh, this series are designed specifically for uh, instructors and uh, systems administrators. I initially started with the first part, then I moved to the second part and today I'm going to finish up with the last part. And uh, we have some parts, we have turning, grade, common module settings, residue access, activity compression, tax, and the competencies. So just move with me. So in turning, here you are going to uh, allow a student to be able to test a plagiarism for himself. So if you say uh, yes, then a student will be able to uh, test uh, uh, plagiarism for his uh, final report. And the other settings are set yes by default, so you can just leave them as the yes. Yeah. So make sure that if you need to allow him to do the uh, plagiarism testing, so make sure that you keep yes. Then other settings just leave at the yeah. Then another part is grade. Mm -hmm. uh, grade. So we have a uh, default uh, ways of, the, um, of, of grading with this point. So I I would like to suggest you to leave it as it is and uh, here you can set the maximum uh, grade for example if you need uh, a maximum number of uh, marks for your assignment then you can set either 100, 10, 5, 20 or 40 so a student mark can get maybe 5 over 20 uh, maybe 20 over 50 if the 50 is the maximum grade so uh, that is how you can uh, say it and the grading method just leave simple direct grading that one is okay uh, grade categories is the only anti and categorized just leave it as it is then uh, grade to pass here you can set uh, 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 I mean the marks as student can be assumed to pass an examination or an assignment so if you set maybe maybe maximum grade is 100 and if you need to set one that uh, the maximum I mean, the pass grade is 51 then if a student get less than 51 then the system will regard him as a failure then blind marking so if you set yes uh, then automatically on marking you will uh, you will not be able to see an identity of a student but if we say no then on marking we'll be able to know the identity of the student so you know who you are marking I mean names and uh, registration number so if you say no you'll not be able to see them but if you say yes then you will be able to reveal the identity of students use mark make for just leave it as it is no I think that will be okay just leave it another part is common model settings or variability shown uh, course page I think that one is okay you can just leave which ID number for this time I think that you can just leave all the settings that they are as they are and uh, another part is elastic to access I here also I think there's no need of adding anything but I think it's okay just leave what is it is then activity compression here also I like to advise you to leave it as it is uh, tax also here uh, according to our traditional ways I think that it works fine you can just leave it and uh, competencies also I uh, would like to advise you to leave it at as it is so in case of any requirements then I will give you uh, uh, more uh, tutorials on how to deal with them but currently on the uh, traditional ways of uh, doing our uh, local uh, assignments I think they are okay so for today I'd like to end there bye bye and thank you very much for your attention